What has become very clear is that climate change is not only a challenge for the future, but increasingly a challenge even for the present. Further, extreme weather events such as floods and droughts are also becoming very commonplace. When I look at all this, I wonder what sort of a world are we leaving for our children. The younger generation will be at the forefront of dealing with the effects of climate change. The main problem here is the fact that our students are not aware about Hello, I have lived uh, in Bangalore for almost 30 years. Earlier it was called an air conditioned city and practically no one was using air conditioners. In fact, even the use of ceiling fans was minimal. Now with the rise in temperatures, air conditions have become very commonplace in Bangalore. Further, extreme weather events such as floods and droughts are also becoming very commonplace. When I look at all this, I wonder what sort of a world are we leaving for our children and this makes me care deeply about climate change. The younger generation will be at the forefront of dealing with the effects of climate change, which will only get worse in the coming decades. They will have to live their lives and careers in the context of a changing climate and the effects it brings on the environment, on society, the, on jobs and econo economies. Uh, they also need to be empowered to have a voice in decision making about their futures and uh, take part as an informed citizenry and also as experts who can guide our societies to a more sustainable future. The main problem here is the fact that our students are not aware about uh, the climate or uh, environmental change or related problems until they reach their master's degree courses. This would require educational policy reforms which would take time to implement. Therefore, it is important to initiate awareness programs for students starting with high school level. Such programs can include a series of lectures on various issues related to environment and climate change and also on uh, a climate change science quiz in order to create uh, interest. As academic institutions, we can uh, train our youths uh, in the relevant discipline, serve as examples for responsible action and build bridges between science and society to better tackle the challenges that lie ahead. My institute is actively involved in such awareness program for high school students and young researchers. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges of the century. We have to recognize that there is more that unites us than differentiates us. All of us wish better lives for our citizens, both now and in the future. We want to preserve the environment while improving our standards of living. We want decisions based on the best science and in collaboration with an informed public. These are all objectives that must unite us as we work to, together on climate change. COVID-19 pandemic was a lesson for all of us and the best example of why such joint approaches are critical to help humanity overcome such crisis. GAUC has played an essential role in bringing together leading institutions across continents on a common platform to address the shared challenges of climate change, while at the same time recognizing the diverse circumstances and perspectives that individual members bring. Such collaborations with a common purpose, but with differing perspectives, trends and approaches are essential for tackling the future challenges of our globally interconnected societies. Climate X is a unique opportunity to address the links between climate and other areas such as nature and biodiversity, food and health, energy and transportation that are being showcased this year in Climate X. A wide range of groups will find expression at this forum. Youth who, who call for action on climate change, graduate students who show us what frontline research on these topics looks like and experienced policy leaders who can discuss the way forward. The dialogue between these different groups is critical. Climate change community believes that the so-called tipping point will be reached when the temperatures rise, uh, the temperature rise crosses 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. It is true that the world is not prepared to face the consequences of such tipping points, as was the case with the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a challenge for India and the world. We hope that the experience from the COVID-19 pandemic would make us uh, all, especially the world leaders, realize the implications of environmental degradation and take appropriate policy decisions. What has become very clear is that climate change is not only a challenge for the future, but increasingly a challenge even for the present. The events you refer to will become more frequent with time, not accelerating efforts on various fronts to confront, confront these challenges is no longer an option. We have several departments and centers training students on topics related to climate change, uh, ranging from uh, climate science and understanding climate change, understanding uh, the water cycle and hydrological impacts of climate change to developing sustainable technologies, studying the energy sector and the transportation sector and so on. Research efforts range from mitigation to studying impacts and adaptation to climate change. 
We have played an active role in global networks such as Future Earth and our faculty members have served on the IPCC. Indian Institute of Science has committed to source a substantial fraction of its energy from renewable sources in the coming decades. Our institute is planning to reduce our emissions by 36 percent by 2025 through various approaches. For example, we plan to install uh, solar panels in the area available on the rooftops of existing and upcoming buildings, replace diesel with piped natural gas, establish zero emission EV charging stations and follow green rating guidelines for all our up upcoming constructions. We have also been actively involved in outreach from school and college students to policy makers to raise awareness about climate change and to engage with them on the way forward. Thank you.